What's up, y'all? This is Jalen Hurst, April 2nd, 2020. Day 15,000 of the quarantine, I don't know. And I I pray that y'all, y'all are staying at home, practicing social distancing. You gotta find a way, baby. Positivity. Y'all go get it. You know, everybody has a dream of going number one and doing all that. You know, I, I love to go as high as I possibly can. That's not anything I can control though. So I can control my work. If you let all this stuff get to you, it'll pull you in a whole bunch of different directions. So I think the biggest thing is trying to take steps every day, kind of keeping the main thing the main thing. Tell Quincy to answer the phone. Yup. Yo. Yo, what you about to talk about? What it's like training a quarterback for the draft? Hmm? Wait, wait, I got this. All right, I'm Quincy Avery. I'm a quarterback consultant. I work with many of the top quarterbacks in the NFL, college, and those preparing for the NFL draft. Who are you reading here? Outside, in man, in man on a line of scrimmage. People do, like in the media and other places, refer to me as a quarterback guru. I wouldn't refer to me as such. How are you reading this one? Snap the curl? Yeah, I'm working snap that, that, that snap off to my curl. I help out quarterbacks in a way that any other consultant would. I would help them expand their game in order for them to play their best football. Now, what would it cause you to run it? I feel like 15 would help make them stop the pass, you know? <laughs> hey, look at you throwing right here, though. But, Don't say what. You know exactly what I'm about to say. I can get my feet in it. Yeah, Quincy Avery, I enjoy working with him. I definitely have a lot of respect for him and, and damn sure for the guys that he trains and Deshaun, Dwayne. I mean, he knows his stuff. The only thing I want there is just getting your whole foot in the ground, but everything else is really, to me, everything else is really good. I want to know from the NFL perspective, how are the reads on these plays? How is he protecting it? And then I would have him draw up a few of those plays from the game and explain to me exactly what's going on. Can you draw this one up for me? So Jay, at the Combine, you're gonna have about 15 minutes with the coaching staffs. So in that time, one of the things they're gonna ask you to do is probably draw up concepts versus different coverages. But I wanna see today, just draw your favorite concept versus cover two. And I'll just be the front office guy asking you a couple of questions. As you explain it, making sure it's clear to me. I'm not the type of guy that's gonna go in these meetings and try and be someone I'm not. I'm gonna go in there and, and be who I am. Talk to them like I talk to anybody else. Just going about my business and, and answering whatever it is they ask me and just showing them what I know. What if you get free access and they're giving you cover three and we got passed off and switched team? What are we gonna do? Let's keep my corner same to my seam, getting here. The difference between quarterbacks and everybody else when you're training for the combine is the level of knowledge they're gonna expect you to have about the things that you did in the college system. So you really gotta be buttoned up on all the information. You gotta be able to communicate those things to staff, executives. It's important that you can understand and retain information so that you can pass it on to the team when you become the starter or the leader of that franchise. He's outside leverage of your H. Are you still going to the Z? If he's out, if my nickel? Yep, nickel's outside, right, because he's gonna pass off the switch. You still got free access. Mm -hmm. What are we doing there? Are you gonna get off the? I key it the same way. Okay. If I got time, if I'm looking at him like a three no hitch. It's not there. Time to get to my shallow, to my OTB, to my back. Playing this quarterback position, you have to have answers. You have to know where you're gonna go with the ball. You have to know, you know, where your hot set. You have to know where you're vulnerable at. That all comes with being comfortable in what you're doing. The Combine is your first opportunity as a true professional where you've had months to dedicate yourself just to the football craft. This is the first time you get to show those skills. You know, it's like people create this term of like the system quarterback. Well, the, the number of coaches I've played with, I've been the system. Take that off, I know you're hot. Go to work. What drill are you doing today? We're gonna do ladder. We'll do the back out throws, right and left. Quarterback to the combine, when you got your fundamental drills, they're gonna wave you, they're gonna send you the right throw, send you the left throw, they're gonna check your grip, I and mean, then you're gonna throw slants, you're gonna throw 6S speed outs both ways, you're gonna throw curls, you're gonna throw a dig on the left, and then you're gonna throw a post corner to the right, and then you gotta fade on the left hand side. So those are the throws that they're gonna attack during the combine, and we just wanna make sure that he's prepared no matter what receiver he goes with. He's able to judge people by their pace and their angle so he can make accurate throws throughout this process. Don't think about it as much as a step. Here, here. Just think about keep pushing. 
right? That's gonna help you get a little bit more balance. The biggest steps that we've made have been being able to solidify our footwork so that when he goes to the combine, they know that the work that he's put in is gonna translate and that he's ready to play on Sundays when he gets here. Now we're gonna work, I'm just gonna keep pushing into you, right? So kick out, Jay. Now you got, yeah, now I'm here. So you gotta keep moving back, keep working back. Yep, and that ball, yeah. Jalen's ability to extend plays with his legs, use his legs in the pocket is nothing but a benefit. Literally every game you watch on Sunday now, if they're one of the modern day quarterbacks, they have the ability to extend plays with their legs. So we have to work on that. Get your ankle to the ground now. You're just towing, you're towing right there. Still put it here, and then you can get back, okay? Being able to avoid defenders and still be able to make those great throws, I think that only expands his game, him being able to move around in the way that he does. That right there ain't gonna make me retreat. Oh, I wouldn't? No. Give me some more effort. When I tag you to the chest, I'm gonna see what you're talking about then. <laughs> exactly how it be. <laughs> I, I firmly believe that there isn't a ceiling. There isn't anybody that I can be measured to. I am who I am. I, I never put a limit on my game as far as what I can do, how great I can be. I can't say the sky's the limit because I, I might surpass that, whatever's after that, I don't know. In the last 10 days, we're gonna be transitioning to training at night, to preparing for the night sessions during the combine. That's something that we try and get our body ready for. A lot of things that Jalen's gonna be doing in the combine and training testing are gonna be between his agent and the strength and conditioning coach. I imagine he'll participate in most of it. But Jalen's gonna test tremendously well. Chill, who music that is? Who music that is? He ain't put that on, man. Coach Chip Smith. I was one of the very first guys that started the combine training business back in the late 80s, early 90s, and I own Chip Smith Performance Systems here in Norcross, Georgia. Jalen, when he came in here, I mean, he was cock strong. I mean, he's the guy that can, you know, squat six, seven hundred, clean three hundred. I feel good when I work with Chip. I feel good. Chip is an OG, OG Chip. He's been around a long time. He's well respected. My philosophy is a little bit different than, than a lot of strength and conditioning coaches. I'm a sports performance coach, and so everything that we do, I have to show improvement on a stopwatch and a scale on a caliper and a bench and a vertex. My system's called the Morrison acronym for movement, over speed, resistance, and reaction. So on Monday and Thursday, we'll break his 40 down. Hey, Chip, let me do a 10. I feel like if I move my foot back, I'll run fast. I have my feet too close. We're working on first step explosion. We count strides. In a 10, we want our athletes to take seven strides. In a 20, we want 11 strides. In a 40, we want 18 strides. So we break that down and we train each phase of that with resistance. You gotta love it. Make you use a quad. Some legs burning, man. That's part of his linear program. And then we have football specific, quarterback specific. I've developed a throwing harness that we've been able to document anywhere from two to three miles an hour increase in velocity because your arm is the extension of your hips. But that action is what generates velocity speed. Then we add more resistance and then his fibers have to accommodate that so he gets more explosive in the movement. I can go in the weight room and I can curl all day long, it takes six months to get a little bump on my arm. But I immediately take that off and I throw and my muscle fibers are firing really hard, so I'm able to feel that difference immediately. So we're training specific to what he does as a quarterback. It, it takes preparation. That's why I'm with Chip and Quincy. And we've been working our, our tails off. For QBs, their preparation has to be almost 50-50, 50% football and 50% testing and evaluation. His days are long. He spends two hours on the field doing skills work. Then he gets to me, I do two hours of speed work, combine prep, then he's back in the weight room for another two hours. But Jalen is getting drafted because he's a great football player, not because of Chip Smith or any performance coach. That's God-given talent. When I meet with these teams, I want to make them think like, I don't know, it's something about that Jalen Hurts kid. It's something about him that I just can't put my finger on it, but I love him. The other day we were in here uh, working. I looked up and he was over at my whiteboard and he was writing something. And so I waited until everybody left and I walked over and looked at it. Greatness comes with patience. Is that not, is that not cool? Yeah. That's going to stay up for a while. So Sunday on the 23rd is when you'll leave for Indy. Your flight is already booked. 21st? 23rd. Sunday 23rd. the 23rd, yep. You'll do registration, and then there's like this big orientation, right? And you'll have a group leader. This group leader is a scout for a team, and he is just interviewing you the whole time without you knowing. He is not your friend, all right? He is someone that is interviewing you and watching everything you do. So he's gonna be like, hey team, I need you guys down at 5 a.m. And if you're there at 5.01, he's not gonna forget that. And he's gonna report back to all the teams. Be responsive, be supportive, be a team player, that kind of thing. And then the very first day you get this card, and this card is gonna basically say, who's giving you a formal interview? 
right? So if it's like the Jets, the Jaguars, whatever, it's not gonna say their name though. So all it's gonna say is the room and the time, exactly. So, you know, you've gotta be really punctual walking out because sometimes they're back to back. So being really careful with that. So that's day one. On Monday, you'll do measurements, pre-exam at the hospital, and then the formal interviews we talked about. And then again, at night, doing these informal interviews, supplementing. Every night. Every night. Tuesday is media day. So I expect you to fully be immersed in the media and you'll do great at that. I'm not worried about it. Additionally, on Tuesday, we'll go to the Nike suite, Adidas, Under Armour, all these different places where we'll get your 40 cleats that you will actually run in, your field cleats, all of those different things. Wednesday, really the big thing for Wednesday is the bench, which you won't do. So even if you're like in the stands and you see some of your teammates doing the bench, cheer them on. Everywhere you are at the combine is a scout. Everywhere we are, in an elevator, at a coffee shop, they're not gonna have gear on that looks like they're from a team. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. Assume that everyone works for the NFL because nobody is in Indianapolis that week unless they work for the NFL. So I'm not worried about that with you, but just like treating every single person with respect, you know, just being yourself. And then Thursday is the big, big day. This is all of your on-field workouts. Our goal is to crush the combine, not have to do anything at Pro Day except your script, right? And then interviews. You're gonna kill it, you're gonna crush it. I'm not worried about it. Quarterbacks, wide receivers, and tight ends hit the field tomorrow there in Indianapolis. I'd like to know the player whose draft stock that you think will rise the most at the combine. I'm end. going with Jalen Hurts. Okay, listen, he doesn't get the respect that he deserves. And I put up these numbers up here. That's 3,800 yards passing. 1,200 yards rushing, 53 TDs, just to eight interceptions. There's going to be a team that makes a leap. I guarantee he's going to do well at the combine, but I'm going to just call my shot now. Wherever he lands in the NFL, he is going to have a very, very impactful rookie season. The first ever scouting combine in primetime right here on NFL Network. I got all these cameras in front of me. Not everybody gets this luxury of being a ball player. How y'all doing? Y'all good today? Well, all of this comes with great responsibility, and my responsibility is play at a high level. I think it's like if you want to get your three-point shot better, you shoot threes. If you want to throw the ball better, you throw the ball. So just repping out the certain things that we do at the combine and be ready for them. It's an experience that not many people get to go through. And for me to be living out these things in real life, it's a blessing. Where do you rank yourself in this quarterback draft class? I think I'm one of a kind. Being able to use my athleticism in the pocket when needed and, and get freaky in open field when I have to as well. Excuse me, get freaky? Get freaky. <laughs> I don't know that. What does that mean? Uh-uh. Oh, uh, yeah? It's like the it factor. How much West Coast offense do you know? Well, let's see. Let, let, teach me something. Okay. All right, so here's a play. Yeah, Steve, man, he's, um, it was great to meet him first and foremost, just always seeing him on TV, seeing all the accomplishments he has, and just being able to talk ball with him. You know, he kind of grilled me with some questions. You're only going to work as a quarterback in the combine, right? I'm a quarterback. You've lined up at receiver before. I'm a quarterback. Draw my play. Got on the board. I think it was double wing right. Double wing right, two jet, flank or drive with a X corner or inside fade, whatever we tag. And my Z coming across on his shallow route, he's also able to sit. We want him to sit on that backside tap yeah. on drive route. Yeah. I have to be able to show and communicate what's in my head. Putting it on the board, getting it out quick, explaining it all well, so I alleviate any questions about what I just talked about. If you get some kind of blitz, where's, a, where's an easy throw and drive concept? Shallow. Right there, huh? You're a fast guy? Good job, bro. Yeah, okay. Easy. All right. Yeah, I think preparation is key. This offseason, I want to continue to learn, take steps, know how to better present things that I'm trying to say. We're going to check that rub route. So we go swing, swing. Let's go swing. What's your, what's your you signal for? It? Swing. Go swing. Swing. All right, make sure they see it. You're going to do well, man. I'm a student of the game. Huh? I appreciate your Proud teacher. of you. Congratulations man. on everything. Appreciate it. And good luck. Thank okay? You. All right, man. <laughs> It is time to put this event in prime time. Starting with the quarterbacks, it's it's such an intriguing group. The whole approach for me in the combine, I want to show general managers, coaches, scouts that my athleticism can be the X factor and make me that much more dangerous at the quarterback position. And the biggest thing is this kid is an athlete. He reminds me a lot of a Russell Wilson type player. I promise you by my final update, he's going to end up being in my top 50. This guy can make plays with his legs. He's tough. He's won a bunch. Good workout for him today. Ran a 4.59, broad jump of 10.5, vert 35 inches. Yeah. Pretty impressive. It's difficult. You got all these people, they just want to critique you. They want to see if you can throw. Just hoping that it goes the way that I've seen him do it so many times. 
Jalen Hurts is interesting to me. Now, the issues that Jalen Hurts has sometimes is vision and anticipation, which you're not going to really see in this setting. I think that he's built for situations like this. The things that I want to see him do is like show everybody that he can make the drops from the pocket. Can he do the NFL footwork? I know that he can because he's done it so much. We saw the athlete that he is, and you see him throw the football. The ball is live. It jumps out of his hand. And watching him go through the drop right here, Kurt, I think his feet, when you stack him up with the rest of the guys up there, looks pretty good. I don't think there's any question that his feet are better. You get him out in space, if moving, he can make throws on the run. People have been talking about him as a third or fourth round pick. I don't think he's going to get out of the second round because of what he can do as a playmaker. And you're seeing now he can really spin the football. He's got some things to clean up, but there's a lot to work with there. And I can't wait to see who drafts Jalen Hurts. How do you feel? Feel high. Feel good? Alive. Feel like you killed it? I don't know. That's what they say. That's what they say? It don't matter about that, though. It's, it's all a blessing. It's a blessing? Hard work pays off. We're not done yet. Let's bring in Kyle, because I know he has some more on Jalen Hurts as well. Yeah, his draft stock is plummeting. It's really too bad. <laughs> I've fallen in love with this guy. You're not supposed to fall in love with people at the draft. I don't care. Anybody who was in Indianapolis, Peter, I know you were, said, look at Jalen Hurts and look at all the other guys who are throwing. There is no difference. In fact, Hurts may even be better. He wowed. He will continue to wow all the way till the Las Vegas Raiders take him with a 19 pick. You heard it here first. Jalen Hurts is my guy. You know, it was a great experience for me being around all the different organizations and being able to meet with the great coaches and put a face with a name. People will say maybe I've proved a point or helped myself and done all this. It's like, okay, well, I'm not really trying to prove anybody else wrong. I'm trying to prove myself right. Just control what I can and try and become a better player, person every day. Quincy should be on the way. So when he gets here, we'll, we'll be ready to work. I ain't waiting on him, no. I'm, I'm working right now, so I'm trying to warm my legs up, get a little something in. I would say from the very beginning, he brought a standard with him. Just a different, like, breed of quarterback. Different mindset. He's in here on Saturdays, in here on Sundays. He's in here early. He's in here late. I mean, we're training even after the game. I mean, in this pad, we're going to work because that was just the mindset. And you hate to even say this, but that kind of guy, that's the Jordan guys. That's the like Kobe guys that are rare. I mean, I mean, he's a rare breed. I don't know that I'll find another one like that one. It's great being back in, in Nompton, as they say, being able to see all the coaches, feeling a lot of love from everybody. They ain't got no calf muscles. Give me a head of your leg. I'm fat ankles. I was very impressed with Jalen's performance at Combine. From the footwork to the balance, I think his stock rose as much as anybody. But now going into pro day, it's like we're going to do a little bit extra, right? We're going to just try and put the exclamation point on everything that he's done thus far. Obviously, pro day, you know the guys a little bit better. I'm just excited to see the guys, first and foremost, be able to work with them and just throw with them one last time at OU, you know? Skate right, hands right, hands there. Spray out, stick, that whole thing. Yeah. You want to do that one? You want to do that one? It ain't about me. I can throw it. It don't matter. I'm gonna throw yeah. it. We just gotta yeah. remind them to be patient on that. Yeah, I told them okay. yesterday. I did. I went over all of it with them yesterday. Y'all, y'all ran all through it? We didn't run through it, but I talked to them through it. Some of them we ran, we threw after. This is the unique opportunity in your career where you get to create the test you want to take, and then you get to take it because you know all the answers, and all you gotta do is execute. We're taking an open book test and we've, we've studied hard. So we're gonna start hitch on the left. You got the hitch on the right. Then we're gonna slant on the left. First couple, I may go like a long cadence. Full cadence. Wide 80. Wide is up. Perfect. You got the check middle, escape. Throwing the CD, Nick, AD, Lee Morris. I mean, he's a goat here out of Oklahoma. So um, just, just to be with those guys and, and throw with them one, one last time, which I'm looking forward to. You got the uh, OTB, you're gonna be on the right side. What is that? So as someone who gets to watch these pro days, you're probably looking at it like, what are they doing? Why did they do it in that order? What are they trying to show, right? You look at the teams that are looking for a quarterback, someone who Jalen may fit their needs, find things in their playbook, and we want to demonstrate the ability to do all those things. The thing that they're gonna ask him to do on a Sunday at one o'clock Eastern, he's showing you uh, at his pro day. Quincy kind of had his base deal, and, and I ended up changing it a good bit. I want to display the ability to make all the throws, being in different situations, working all the play actions, and throwing the ball with touch, getting some scramble drills in there at times, making it hard. You know, I want to challenge myself for this.
You like that? That's how we gonna red zone. So we got red zone now. Last two. Yeah. Woo. Perfect tempo. We got the five CD. Good work, fellas. Y'all got a cool break or something? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Sooners on three, one, two, three. Uh, Sooners. Uh, <laughs> I ain't do. I ain't doing no Sooners. Ain't nobody Sooners no more, huh? But once a Sooner, always a Sooner. Lance Zerline, James Palmer here at Oklahoma's Pro Day. 30 teams represented, just the Saints and the Steelers not here. Runner up for the Heisman, Jalen Hurts throwing the football. He's been climbing a lot in people's minds lately. Well, there's definitely improvement. You can see the footwork's better. He tightened up his release a little bit. The little things, he's already working on them, and it shows that's the kind of person, the kind of player he is. The ball comes out of his hands great. We saw that at the Combine. It surprised some people the way he could spin it. Overall, I thought he had a, a really nice work day. He's done all the work necessary. This is just to let everybody else know, here's the work I did. All right, here we go, three, two, one. Here with Oklahoma quarterback Jalen Hurts. Workout just got done. Your general consensus of how things went? Uh, just the opportunity to be out here with my guys, get out here and stroke it you know, one last time. Um, it, it was great, it was great. Uh, felt good rhythm, felt like it came off good. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see what's next. The coronavirus is having a major impact in the sports world. The NCAA basketball tournament will play games without fans in the arena. The NBA has suspended their season until further notice, but how will it impact the NFL? Roger Goodell sent a memo to all 32 teams on Monday saying that the NFL draft coming up on the 23rd will look very much like a fantasy draft. It will be a virtual draft. Certainly for the, uh, for the NFL draft now, it's going to be unlike anything uh, we have really experienced. Teams and agents are already making tweaks to that pre-draft process, and you can certainly see why. It's a valid point. Jalen Hurts, how I'm are you good. feeling? I'm good. Did you get a workout in? Yeah. In the in the garage? Yeah, I've been working out in the garage. Shout out to your mom. She, she tagged oh, me she, in that uh, push-up challenge. Yeah, she did a lot she, more than I did. Look, <laughs> I, I work out in the garage. She's right there working out too. I mean, That's it's crazy. it's kind of been a family affair. I hit a ball out here on the wall, man. She putting in work. Little sis over there. You got Zeus. There you go. That's the same garage like I grew up working out in. You know what I'm saying? Like just bring you back good memories and kind of see how far you've come. And I mean, my biggest thing is just trying to put some type of investment in every day. It's good. So I know you've been doing the virtual meetings. I'm just curious, what are those like? It's it's different, you know what I'm saying? It's like a, a group FaceTime call, if you will. You know, I've had meetings where I've had general managers on there. I've had owners on there. Well, I've got the two of you up there. I'm about the guys that I play with. One of my fears is letting them, letting them down. Not me messing up because it makes me look bad, messing up because it can hurt the team. I think the biggest thing from these meetings is just having another opportunity to talk with everybody and just learning, you know what I'm saying? Them learning me and uh, me learning them. I think that plays really well in meetings, and I think the head coach that falls in love with Jalen Hurts is a defensive-minded head coach in terms of, man, I can sacrifice my individual numbers. All I want to do is win. I think defensive coaches find comfort in those kind of guys as opposed to offensive guys. I hear you on the defensive coach thing, but I just think of the Raiders and that whole toughness brand that they're trying to build their leadership, all that. I mean, he checks all those boxes. I think another team that I would say, the Pittsburgh Steelers, I feel like he would be a really good fit there. Yep. If you don't get Big Ben back, maybe Jalen Hurts can get them to play more of that old school smash mouth football that has really played well in Pittsburgh in the past. There's that little knot in my stomach going, don't, don't sleep on this kid. Play fake. Hurts in trouble. Hurts. Can he break contain? Hurts still. Buying time. Delivers. Caught. CeeDee Lamb. That was incredible. This ball was behind his back. It's behind his back. He's trying to switch hands, and he does with Osai hanging all over him. And then he finds the completion down the field. That is remarkable. You know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the draft. I think you're going to go a lot higher than people are anticipating, which is really exciting. But as we've talked about a lot, it's not just about where you're drafted, you know, when it comes to which round. Obviously, we want to go as high as we can, but the system, you know, the team, all of that really is more important when you're a QB. And so let's just keep that in mind. 
There are so many good things I could tell you about Jalen Hurts. He's exactly what you see on TV. He's exactly what you think as a person that he is as a man. If I'm a general manager, forget all the other guys you got in front of him. This guy's played in the best games in the country. This guy's a leader. This guy's gonna make your clubhouse better because of the man that he is. That character trait is far more important than whether he runs a fast 40 or he throws the ball, whatever. If I'm starting a franchise, he's gonna be my first pick. I think you and I have a good idea of the teams that have shown a lot of interest. But, you know, I've had every year a situation where a guy has never heard from a team and they draft him. So we just don't know. So we just don't know. I'm really excited about this next portion of Jalen's career. He has an opportunity to go somewhere and change a franchise. He shattered a lot of the thoughts that people may have had about him. He's went on to just continue to work and be that guy. When I say that, I mean he has all the intangibles. He does all the things of somebody you'd want to lead your franchise. I think that he's going to be special. He's going to get somewhere. He's going to get drafted a lot earlier than a lot of people think. He's going to end up in an organization that really wants him and wants somebody who can do the things that he can do. And he's going to take the league by storm.